This is going to be basically the first video getting started with the Google Directions API. So the end goal of kind of the next handful of videos is going to look like this. So this is the completed version of the app here that I have. And if I click on this marker, you can see that uh, that's me. That's where I am. Uh, now, if I click on another marker, uh, we get that info window popping up that says, do you want to determine the route to this person? Uh, then so the next step kind of which is what this video is going to be about when I click on that dialogue another dialogue or when I click on the info window another dialogue is going to pop up saying do you want to determine the route to this user so this dialogue in particular is what we're going to be working on in this video but then moving forward we're going to be able to click yes and it's going to determine all the different routes we're also going to be able to click on the different polylines and all that kind of stuff but for this video in particular we're going to be just kind of clicking on here and then being able to click on the info window so that a dialog pops up and asks if we want to determine the route. So basically what we need to do is we're going to be attaching an on info click listener to each of the info windows. So I'm going to open user list fragment and the first thing we're going to do is implement a new interface and that interface is going to be the on info window click listener. I'm going to press alt enter now and implement the methods. So we need the on info window click method. And this is the win this is the method that's going to execute when the info window is clicked. So if I bring back the demo application, uh, if I click no, so this is the info window right here. When the info window is clicked, that's what we want to happen. So we need to write code in here to handle the clicks. And setting info on info window click listener is actually very easy. So if I scroll up and I go to where we have our Google map right here, uh, I can actually just go M Google map set on info window click listener and then pass this to refer to the interface and that's all we need to do it's actually very simple so now I can scroll down and inside the on info window click method we need to build a dialogue and there's gonna be quite a bit of code here so once again I've created a gist to save time so visit this URL and here's all the code that we're gonna need for the on info click method so I'm going to uh, copy all that I'm gonna go back to Android Studio and I'm gonna paste it inside the on info window click method I'm going to press alt enter and get all the imports that I need and now we're going to walk through it. So first of all if you look at the whoops that's the wrong application. If you look at the application um, there's two different scenarios that happen when you click on an info window. The first scenario is if you click on your own info window. You get a, a username which is your username and then uh, a snippet that says this is you. But if you click on any of the other uh, icons you get their username but you get a message that says determine route and then their username and a question mark so that's what we're checking for here so this if statement says uh, if the info if the snippet says this is you then all we want to do is actually hide the info window because obviously we don't want to calculate directions to ourself that doesn't make any sense uh, but in the other case that means that they must have clicked on another user so then this bit of code is going to run and in that case we have a uh, basically just a yes or no and uh, what we're asking them in the dialogue is the snippet so if we look at the application again uh, the snippet here says determine route to five if I click it once again the dialogue says determine route to five so all we're doing is we're printing the snippet to the dialogue we're just kind of confirming that they actually do want to find the directions uh, so that's that's all we want to do here we're not going to write any of the code moving forward yet we're going to take a look at that in the next video so i'm going to run this and test it to make sure that it's working all right i'll navigate to the chat room go to user list fragment now i will let's zoom in here i'm going to click on i think that's okay that's not me um no that, that is me actually so i'm going to click on one of the other users i'm going to click there and there you can see the dialog popping up oh looks like i'm getting a phone call um, so if I let me try a different one, I'm just going to click this user. Once again, the dialog pops up. So everything is working as we expect at this point. So now in the next video, we're going to get started with the Google Directions API and actually finding the different routes to those users if the user clicks yes on our dialog. So I'll see you in that next video.